Hey guys, it's Tractual Beast here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how I would typically do a water change in my 10 gallon aquarium. So let's get into it. Doing water changes on my aquarium is, of course, a siphon. So this is like a vacuum, somewhat. Obviously, you're gonna need that to re remove any sediments on the bottom of your gravel. And then a bucket. Mine's not that big, but it still works, and you can get a bigger one if you want. Um, and then I use Easy Balance. This is for regulating pH and reducing nitrates. So you can use that. And then this is a water dechlorinator. Whenever you're using tap water, you always need this. You can get a different brand, but I like to use AquaSafe. So that's good. You can also get beneficial bacteria when adding or to add to your aquarium if you ever need that but I typically don't need it that much because I don't really remove too much of it every time I do water changes so yeah and then I like to use test strips these are APIs I'm not entirely sure if they're accurate but this is just what I like to use and so far they've worked pretty well so yeah let's get into it as you can see it looks like already 5% of the water has been lost due to evaporation so I like to do a good 10%, so maybe that would be around here. And then plus that, that would be like 15% gone on this 10 gallon aquarium. What I like to do is I keep my bucket down here so that I could have my vacuum, stick it in the aquarium, put it at the bottom. Then I put the end of the vacuum inside the bucket. And then I I squeeze the blue part so that I could suck up some water and then I like to get the sediments that have built up at the top of the gravel but I don't like to do it in every area of the tank because then that removes more beneficial bacteria and then take it out And I get the removed water and I would usually just dump it in uh, the toilet or I would just give it to some of my plants outside so yeah I'm gonna be right back uh, I'm gonna vacuum a little bit more say that's around maybe 15% plus the 5% that was already gone so that's like 20% give or take when adding water I just get some aqua safe and then this is some like regular tap water from the sink I add about three droplets and then while you're waiting for that to mix in, you get your easy balance, shake it up a little bit, then add a pretty small amount. And you allow that to mix in. And I just dump it into the aquarium. But I would just do it where the filter is already causing water movement. And I try my best to not move any of the built up sediments on the bottom of the gravel.
keep the water level slightly below the black ring so that I could reduce the chances of one of my fish jumping out of the water even though it's slightly high already. I like to allow my water to circulate or cycle for like 5 or 10 minutes. Then I like to test my water just to make sure that it's good. Alright, so I get my test strip, dip it, swirl, I mean swirl a couple times, remove it. So, looks like my pH is around 7, 6.5 to 7. And nitrates like 20. My nitrites around 0 0.5 or 0. So I think I need to raise my pH a little bit. And then KH, KH is around 40 to 80. And my general hardness is 180. Alright guys, that's how I would do a typical weekly water change. If you enjoyed this or you found this helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.